Hey there. Yeah, this is kind of a lazy video. Um, I'm just really tired. My, my sleep has been crap the past couple nights. Or I should say days. <laughs> um, sleep schedule is totally messed up, but my sleep has just been messed up the past couple days. Um, and normally I would just do this at the computer, but I have the video capture card out of the computer because I've been going on Second Life a lot. And the video capture card is one of those little PCI Express slots. goes into the PCI Express slot. And on my motherboard, it's just directly underneath the video card where the fan is pointing down. So when you put that in, it's, it's like less than a centimeter away from where the fans are trying to, to do their thing on the video card. So... You know, it tries to overheat, and so I'll just I just take the video capture card out when I'm doing a lot of Second Life. And uh, by the way, the club is going. I'm having a uh, grand reopening on Sunday, and I'm hoping that um, with permission, with one more uh, person uh, that uh, is on the sim that I'm on, that we'll be able to make it an adult sim, so it can be clothing optional and not have to worry about anything um because right now it's set for moderate where you know you can do some things but you know if people want to be all pissy about things they could report someone um so that's cool it's it's it'll be this sunday from uh, 5 to 7 p.m second life time which is pacific time so, I always thought that was kind of interesting that they based it on that. To me, it should have been uh, a Greenwich Mean Time, but, you know, oh well. Um, let's see. The I, I did not get any sort of a call uh, since I, you know, turned in the, that heart monitor. I didn't get any sort of call stating, uh, uh, hey, uh, uh, the, I, we, we, need, we need to talk. You know, I didn't get anything like that, so that's a really, really good sign um, that it's nothing like pressing or very serious. Um, there have been some people who have been hounding me about my weight, uh, trying to act like they are doctors and they have uh, examined me and they know my past and my history and such. Claiming that, uh, oh, it's your weight. It's your weight. It's like, you know, this is the reason why I didn't want to talk about this shit in the first place. Because I knew there'd be some people who, who try to act like self-professed doctors and shit, and they don't even know. You know, as I've said, I sometimes had these, these uh, irregular heartbeats when I was skinny. When I was really skinny. When I was 128 pounds, I would sometimes have these things. You know, they weren't as extended as, as this has been, but, you know, I'd get them back then. You know, I have a bit of a history of it. So, you know, I, I don't want to hear this shit. One person said, lose the weight or face the consequences. I'm like, fuck you, dude. Seriously. You know? It's, 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 it's kind of thing is as good as the armchair psychologists out there, you know? So, um, you know, some of you are, are making it, some of you, uh, have said, not, I mean, when I say some of you, it's, it's, it's a small handful of people, um, have tried to claim, oh, well, you're just fat because, uh, you're too lazy to blah, 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 and I'm like, it has nothing, my being fat has nothing to do with me being lazy. Okay, I'm fat on purpose. I enjoy being fat. It is something I actually like. Maybe you can't wrap your mind around that, but that's fine. Um, I like it. Um, I know exactly what I need to do if I wanted to lose weight, if, or if I have to lose weight. If the, doc if the doctors tell me I have to lose weight, then... You know, in order to stop let's, let's, these uh, um, irregular heartbeats, if it's related to that, I'll do what's necessary. I don't want to, 
but I'll do what's necessary. And it's not really that hard. You know, getting... The main thing about it is, is getting used to this feeling of having a full stomach most of the time. You know, a very full stomach most of the time. That's, that's the, the main addiction element to this. And... Comparing that to, let's say, when I was quitting Zyprexa, you know, it's nothing. It's, it's nothing. Quitting Zyprexa was the hardest thing I had ever had to do, quite frankly. Um, and then I compare it to when, people, when other people are trying to quit hard drugs, you know? Uh, yeah, uh, losing weight, yeah, that's nothing. Now, one of the main things I would be disappointed in is that whole, uh, that uh, loose extra skin thing. It's what had disappointed me so much when I had lost weight the last time. Man, I couldn't stand the way I looked. I thought I was, I, I thought I was hideous looking. I mean, just fucking hideous. Oh, sure, with clothes, yeah, it's, it's all fine and dandy. You can't see the, the extra loose skin there. Um, I, I thought it was hideous. And I suppose if I somehow made enough money, I could get that taken care of, but I'm not gonna... I, <laughs> the idea of me making that much money is just, like, completely foreign to me. It's, uh, a little bit depressing, but it's, it's, uh, anyway, um... You know, also... You know, I haven't. I'm, I seem to be at a weight plateau. Um, in order to get any heavier, it just seems like I would have to just really be pigging out and go and go back to, you know, eating crappy foods, and I'm I'm not going to do that. Um, you know, I want I want to eat healthy meals. I don't want to eat a bunch of crap. I don't want to eat junk food. I've never been big into junk food, and I've definitely never been into candy. It's just not my thing. So since I'm at this kind of a weight plateau, uh, I may just, you know, focus on maintaining the weight, and uh, as soon as we have much better weather than we're having, I really want to wanna do a lot more walking again. Um... This weather is really discouraging on, on doing a lot of walking. So, um, I guess one last thing I want to say in this video, because I've made three takes on this and now the camera's going, I'm getting hot. Okay, fine. Um, when it comes to religion, As long as someone isn't trying to pass any sort of legislation to try to enforce uh, your religion, you know, as long as you have this element of, I can't do that because of my religion, and it's not this element of, you can't do that because of my religion, then what do I fucking care? Whether people want to believe in things that don't make any sense, it, as long as they're not doing anything bad with it, what fucking difference does it make? You know, as long as you're not trying to have that belief system that doesn't make any sense taught in schools, you're not trying to have that kind of belief system put into law, what do I fucking care? And when it comes to people that, you know, uh, do crazy things, stupid things, outrageous things, some sort of terroristic whatever. Um, even if we didn't have any religious people in the world, there would still be people that would do awful things based off of an ideology. You know, sometimes ideologies can be more damaging than, than uh, you know, that, that aren't religious than the ones that are, because 
they'll actually try, they'll actually think they're being rational and logical when they're doing these things. You know, they'll, they'll have some sort of a, uh, they'll have facts and statistics and all this sort of thing to back them up. To me, that can, that sort of thing can do a lot of fucking damage. And I don't think I need to go into details about, uh, which ideologies, uh, uh, currently are, are, uh, doing some bad things. So, uh, yeah, um, as long as people are making some sort of effort to try to get along, then what do I fucking care? Anyway.